Hello, I'm Jonathan Lee. I hope everyone is healthy and safe. Greetings from California, and thank you for waiting patiently as I reveal the solution for the nitrous breathing circuits. All right, let's go. Welcome back to one of our uh, operatory units. And as you can see, we use Porter Instruments MXR unit. The scavenger control block is the AVS 5000. And for the breathing circuit, we use Porter Brown's double mask breathing circuit. And if you look very carefully, you'll notice something blue that's on the nitrous hoses. So let's so take a look. Here you can see the Porter MXR nitrous head. And as we move along, you can actually see the uh, Porter AVS 5000 scavenger control block. And then here you have the breathing bag and what we call the corrugated fresh air tubing. As we move along, this is where you see this blue thing that then connects to the breathing circuit. And then we have the liner and the hood. So pre-COVID, what was the recommendation for disinfecting and sterilizing your nitrous hoses? Order and instrument in their documentation recommends that you weekly clean your breathing bag and your fresh air tubing. And then they recommended on your breathing circuit, the hoses, which they call coaxial hoses, as well as the nasal hood and the liner to be autoclaved between patients. So the one thing nice about the Porter instrument breathing circuits and nitrous units is that everything is standardized. And so are these filters. These filters have two connectors. One side is a 15 millimeter, 22 millimeter, inner diameter, outer diameter connector. And the other side is a 22 inner diameter connector. So these bacteria virus filters are single use, meaning that after each patient, they get disposed of. The filter protects the breathing bag and the fresh air corrugated tubing from cross contamination. So what that means is you can continue following Porter's instructions in terms of cleaning the breathing bag and the fresh air corrugated tubing with warm so soapy water once a week and in between patients autoclave the breathing circuit the hood and the nasal liner so now it's time to thank and give a shout out to Deha Kim of AM Systems in Washington State, who provided the samples of the filters to see if it would work on our dental nitrous breathing circuits. I'm glad to say that they do fit and they are able to be used. It will help prevent cross-contamination of the breathing bag and the fresh air corrugated tubes. Please realize that these are filters that are used in the hospital for their anesthesia machines, as well as ventilators. So please be cognitive of the hospitals who may need these filters. And so when you do order them, please order them in reasonable quantities and do not hoard them. All right, thanks again. See you soon, bye. So if you decide to order these bacteria virus filters from AM Systems, please mention my name, Dr. Jonathan Lee. Thank you.